I get on this camera knowing I probably shouldn't pick up the camera. <laughs> I probably shouldn't pick up the camera. So I'm forcing myself to eat a turkey burger that I made the other day. Baby, y'all know I make everything good. That turkey burger was everything, honey. Everything. So good. So I put in a little breadcrumbs, two eggs. And my regular seasons, uh, sazon, adobo, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. Good. And then I sauteed some jalapenos and onions. So I hooked my burger up. Oh, shoot. I didn't put cheese. Y'all don't even want no cheese. So I just want to have something on my stomach because I took antibiotics for my tooth. And it's going down. It's just still swollen a little bit. But, um... You know, all the kids are home. Sydney came home Sunday because she went to some church retreat thing. Clinton's home, Bobby's home. And, you know, one of the rooms are empty. Whatever happened to that bed? I think we sold it. No, I think Clinton took the bed. Whatever happened to that bed? Who the heck knows? I don't even know. Because I know there were two beds. I believe Clint took that bag. I don't, I don't know. But when he takes something, who knows where it ends up, honey? A landfill, somebody else's backyard, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. Who knows where that stuff ends up? But I find that as I get older. But wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Calm down, calm down. I did not say, how you doing? Y'all doing okay? Good. I hope you are. And if you're not, it'll pass. And if it won't, go see your doctor and go to therapy, okay? So, you know, some things it's about your positive, how your mindset is and how you deal with things and tolerate things. Got to try to have a positive mindset. Sometimes I be trying to have a positive mindset, but boy, some things can just work your nerve. <laughs> you know? But I strongly, strongly feel that no matter what I'm going through, or if I'm frustrated or stressed out about something, I don't take it out on other people. I'm very aware of that. Or you're just having a bad day. I think it's so unfair. Like for me, for instance, it would be unfair for me to take it out on my students and just have an unpleasant attitude with my students. They had nothing to do with that. Or I come home and those and my students worked my nerves. Why would I come home and have an attitude with my children? That's not fair to them. So I'm always conscious and aware of the energy that I give other people. Always. So, you know, I think I want, I think I just want to, just for today, I don't feel like ketchup because I'm, I'm really not hungry, <laughs> but I'm going to the library. I'm on my way to the library and I don't want to sit in the library for hours and I'm hungry. Then I get hungry later. So I did pack a lot of junk and I made my tea. So anyway, listen, listen, listen. So last night doing Bobby's hair, Bobby wanted to make some lasagna soup. And it was actually very good. I enjoyed the soup. And when you're making soups, stews, meats, whatever like that, it's always a nice little treat to put in a sazon packet. I put sazon on everything, okay, except for, you know, some scrambled eggs. Although I did try that, I wasn't that crazy about it. So I was like, you put sazon on? She was like, no, 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 put no sazon, no. <laughs> but baby, when she packed that soup up and letting it cool off, she was upstairs, I snuck a sazon back in it and don't tell nobody. Shh, she won't know. They won't watch my videos anyway. <laughs> 
so I can't wait to have some soup later. And the soup was actually very good, um, lasagna soup. It was, it was pretty good. So, she wants to get her hair done. So she wanted to embark on getting, on doing her own hair, doing a ponytail. So she's doing this ponytail. I said, do you want me to help you? Or do you want to make the soup first? How about you make, cause she had to shampoo her hair and all that stuff first. God, guys, I am not hungry at all. Ugh. Um, I said, do you want to make the soup first? No, I want to do my hair. Ugh, ugh. And it's getting laid up. And it's like 7.30, so she shampooed. I helped her blow dry her hair. I gave her a good trim on her hair. She needed it. Gave her a good trim on her hair. And, you know, doing all this stuff. You know, being accommodating like a mom should. I went and bought extra food for the house. To make. The house is a mess. It is what it is. It's a mess. I would be embarrassed for somebody to come in here. I probably should stop at the Goodwill, but it's raining. I don't feel like it. But, you know, being accommodating like a parent. Some parents won't be as accommodating because that's just not their thing. But, you know, I try. And maybe I'm silly or whatever. You could call it whatever you want. But my mom, she was she was a really, really sweet lady to me. She was very kind to me. Dang it, my battery is beeping. She was just sweet. She was very nice. My mother was very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Made me think about my mother. And my mom's been gone for about Ooh, 28 years? Cause I just found her, her program to her service, to her going away service, so I had to do the math. <laughs> and she was just always nice, she was a nice person. And so, um, I guess maybe I, I get that from her. And she always wanted me to be happy. Ooh, I'm sorry. Oh, let me get my life, honey, because I ain't come on here to do all this. Um, but sometimes I'll have a trigger. I don't cry about my mom all the time, but once in a blue moon, I'll have a trigger. And I guess today was the day, okay? Let me change my battery and get my life, and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Whew, I got my life, child. got my life, okay? So, anyway, sometimes I have triggers, and, you know, it could be a movie. It could be anything. It can be watching someone else interact with their parent or something like that. So it could be anything. I'm being accommodating, she wants to get her hair done. I'm still trying to do my hair. As you can see I added more pink in the back. So I need to dip the braids, but as I'm still redoing sections, I have to wait to the end. So I just put a peekaboo color of pink in the back. And the kids love it, the kids love it. I'm doing her hair. And now she wants to start the ponytail. She's trying to do a ponytail. She watched the videos and I was proud that she's trying to do something on her. Guys, I do not want, I do not want this at all. Oof. And I kind of just woke up and it's almost one o'clock. But I have my blackout curtains and then I think I was up late doing my braids. I think that's what it was. Because when Clinton, he came in my room. See, I'm jumping all over the place. <laughs> I did take my ADHD medicine. And so, I'm doing her hair. And I said, do you want me to help you? And I said, well, do you want me to help you? I can start, you know, cooking the meat for you while you're doing your hair. So let me help. She, she just gets up and storms down the road. I'll just do it now. I'll just do it now. And I'm like... What? What just happened? I'm just trying to be helpful, you know, and so we're not eating so, so late. I don't know how to make it. And I said, do you want me to make it? I don't mind making the soup. Just tell me, give me the recipe because, you know, I'll hook it up. I can make anything good. And it was the very, very first time that I got some, some attitude from Bobby. And I was like, hold up. Did she? Did she? Just... Walk out of the room, you know, kind of fast. And just say, I'll do it now. I'm like, that's kind of like attitude to me. I, but what did I do? I was just saying that I will help you. So I was like, 
Let me put my slippers and my robe on and wash my tail downstairs. There's certain things that I don't I don't want to say tolerate, but there's certain things that I think are unacceptable as a parent for me. I mean, I may be normal behavior in your house, but for me, it is not. Okay? And I was like, but what did I do to warrant that? I mean, I'm trying to help you do your hair. I spent my time blow drying all that thick hair. I spent my time when I could have been doing my own hair, cutting and trimming your hair. I spent my money for you to go to the hair store to get hair. Then I gotta spend my money for you to get an uh, oil change. Then I gotta spend my money for you to get your hair braided later on in the week. Make it make sense. Make it make sense to me. But who's doing anything for me? Who? Anybody doing anything for me? No, house is a mess. I asked Clinton to put the tree up weeks ago. No, I pulled out some of the stuff. Now I gotta pull out the tree. I did all that. Nobody, nothing, 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 nothing. So I'm just like, you see, it's, you see, but you want to give me attitude? I didn't get. I didn't get to Clinton. Sydney wasn't here yet, but I didn't get to Clinton. But my thing is, I feel as though as I get older, as a parent, and as a person in general, attitudes, negative energy, I have zero. Zip. You hear me? I can't do it at all. It does something to my spirit. And then I start to think, I don't want to deal with any of it. I, I think I will be good just being a hermit, an intro, a 100% introvert, don't have to deal with people. I, 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 I don't know, it's like some, as I age, my stomach, it's almost like you, your stomach can no longer tolerate a spicy food. My spirit cannot tolerate even a, 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 a millimeter of attitude. I, I, I just can't. It doesn't work for me. It just makes me, it makes it like a volcano about to rub. I'm, I can't do it. And you know, it wasn't that bad, but I'm like, what did I do to deserve that? And so I went downstairs. I was like, and I talked to her. I was like, so why did you do that? Because it was that fair to me. I was trying to help you. And she was like, I know, I'm, I'm sorry for behaving. She apologized for behaving that way. And then I have to get my attitude together. And then while she was doing her hair, she wasn't quite doing it right to get the nice ponytail. And she was doing all I said, do you want me to help you? And I know she really wanted to do it herself. And I said, do you want me to help you? Because you shouldn't be using that product. That's not how you do the ponytail because all you're doing is making your hair go back to curly. You know, I have hair super curly. So what you're doing is making your hair go back to curly after we, after you flat ironed it and all that stuff. So, and then so I started helping her and showing her what to do. I ended up doing most of it, but I wanted her to help. I mean, it looks cute. Her hair looks cute, but there I go again, being a nice mom, helping, you know, helping again. But nobody really does anything for me. Even my robe. I already talked about my robe. The, the, that my robe and I have a relationship. <laughs> my robe needs to be sewn. Can somebody sew my robe for Christmas? Or, you know, I'll just, uh, that'll be a nice gift. Just sew all the little rips and tears in my robe. I'll take that. And then here comes Clinton. I said, Clint, you're gonna, you know, have to go to the sofa. You know, why both the girls, well, why do I have to do that? I have to move out all my stuff out of my room. I said, no, you don't. I said, just, you know, they're home. You know, both the girls, well, why can't one of them sleep on the sofa and one sleeps with you? I was like, then I was like, well, you worked that out with them. And then I went to my room. And then you know how sometimes you're having a conversation and then you go like, dang, I should have said this. Or something, you start processing the conversation. And then I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. I don't know who he think he is. And then here I go back. <laughs> I go back to the room. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I said, first of all, 
these girls are home, they're not home all the time, and I'm like, we're about to move up out of here, you know, one of these days, so this would be our last Christmas in here, so they won't have a home to come back to, so let them have their room. You said, more importantly, you don't pay no rent around here. Now, if you were paying rent and you were helping out like you were supposed to be, then you would have a leg to stand on, but you don't. So get your stuff and you take your tail to the sofa. You don't help out around at all. So you don't you don't have no rights here. That was that. So he's walking around with an attitude. Comes in my room, can you take me to work? I, I don't know. I was asleep. I had my blackout curtains, so I was asleep. I was like, what time? And he was like 12 o'clock. I was like, 12 o'clock. And so I'm jumping up because you know I want to spend some time at the library to do schoolwork. Something else my students don't appreciate or in, in general going to the library i could be here putting up the tree <laughs> i was like okay let me get dressed so he has to be at work at 12 30 so i got it was like 11 50. so i got like 30 minutes so gotta put my eyelashes on i ain't going nowhere without my eyelashes right and then he comes in my hair was still on my bonnet that's the last thing i take out was my bonnet so after i do my face and put my clothes on um i snatch my bonnet off and then the show time so it's almost like bam now you ready so I still have my bonnet on. He was like, you ready? Does it look like I'm ready? I still got my bonnet on. He got an attitude. I said, don't you gotta be at work at 12.30? It was like 12.06, it was 12.06. It's five, it's five minutes away. I was like, don't you gotta be 12.30? So we got, I got like 20 minutes. Oh, you took my car? No, Clinton had your keys. Oh, thank Lord, let's see your hair, Bobby. Oh. Mm-hmm. She did a good job. She actually, she did it because I'm incompetent when it comes to stuff like that. No, you just need to practice because practice makes improvement and the more but, you practice. Yeah, so I, I saw it done once and so now I could do it. You think you could do it now? Maybe. Oh, I thought these were mine. No, those are mine. I can't find my glasses. Oh, Lord. What? They're two, script two prescriptions. Yeah, I can't see. Mm-hmm. Do you have, I need to tighten these. Yes, I have tools somewhere. They're yeah. in my drawer, you know, in my double bag. Mm-hmm. I like your pants. Where you going? Mm -hmm. We're going to watch um, CP play. What's CP? My old high school. Well, Who's my me? high school. Who's me and Christiana. Oh, Christiana's going to watch it? And Treasure. Christiana. Oh, Treasure's going too? Mm-hmm. Christiana's actually in that car. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, have a good time. I'll okay, kill this shit. Stop going to the library. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. Love you. Love you too. It's going to be like this all week. I'll get over it. I was just looking at she said, it's going to be like this all week. I'll get over it. No. I, I, I just feel as if certain things are not fair to me. So am I wrong for feeling that way? I feel as though it comes with being a parent, but it's like you give and give and give so much. And then people turn around and treat you a certain way. Don't go above and beyond for you. Anyway, and I could be a broken record, but this is the day in the life of how I'm feeling today. Okay, <laughs> so tomorrow or next week, I may be feeling like this again. And that's just the highs and lows of parenting. But no, next week, they'll be gone, all of them. So, Sydney, did she make me mad? No, because she was at her church retreat. <laughs> all right, guys, so leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Am I being unreasonable? I just, I just don't have the tolerance or the stomach for for attitudes and I feel as though I don't have to I don't have to deal with them. I, I don't I don't I don't want to deal with them. But you know, it's your kids, you deal with certain things. I don't want to deal I don't want to deal with them. They're not fair. It's not always fair. And so even if you are a person who's having a bad day or whatever it is for you, just think about how you're coming across to other people that have that have nothing to do with why you're upset. But you, you, you giving that, that energy to others, which I think is unfair. So try to be conscious about that. 
And so that's what I gotta say. This burger cold now, y'all. I'm just not hungry. But I already put it on the bread and all that. Maybe I'll microwave it and nibble on it as I head to the library. So with that said, I hope you have a wonderful day. And it's weird when I go to the library, I don't know if the library has YouTube blocked, but I can never download videos. You know, I can edit, you know, but I can't um, upload. I can't upload at all to YouTube at the library. I'll try. So if I can get this out, but it'll skip over another video. <laughs> Alright guys, this has gone on too long. Give this video a thumbs up or not, but I appreciate it if you do. And share this video to other people who may experience the same thing. So, you know, something that we all have in common as parents and as teens. So if you listen to this as a teen, um, think about how you come off to your parents but and all the things that they do for you. Is it really fair? And not all parents are the same, and I get that too. So your energy is going to be different depending on the energy that your parents give you as well. So with that said, I love you and keep your head up. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season as we go into the holiday. And I will check in with you later. Bye, y'all.